Welcome to our channel, everyone. In this video, we are going to be discussing pure and impure substance, boiling and melting points, elements, compounds, and mixture. So let's start with the first one, the pure and impure substance. So what are pure substances? Pure substances are substances that uh, they contain only one kind of particle. I said pure substances, they have just one kind of particles in them. The particle can be atom or molecule. For example, uh, elements like, um, like oxygen, like nitrogen, like hydrogen. These are pure substance because they contain only one particle in them. We can have compounds too, like H2O, like CO2, like uh, this kind of, this substance have just a particle in them. And the particle is, this is the, this has water particles. This one have um, carbon dioxide particle. This is hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. So pure substances are substances that have just one particle in them, all right? While impure substance are substances that have two particles, they have two or more. It is not only two, it can have two or more particles. Two or more particles in them, all right? And um, example are uh, most of our mixtures, like salt water, like uh, crude oil, a. Hey, these are impure. Uh, they are impure substances because they have two or more particles in them. All right, and you should know that um, pure substances they have um, they have fixed. Pure substances have fixed melting and boiling points. While in pure substance, they have. They, are, uh, they do not have a fixed melting and boiling point. All right, so let us move to the next one, boiling and melting point. Boiling and melting point. All right, so what, are bo what is boiling point? Boiling point is uh, the reading, the reading, it is the temperature of the conversion of a substance from liquid to gas, right? The temperature of a substance from liquid to gas. Let's take, for example, water. Water will boil at 100 degrees Celsius. That means at 100 degrees Celsius, it will convert to gas. So boiling point is the temperature of, is the temperature that a liquid will turn to gas, all right? And you should know that pure substances have a fixed boiling point, while impure substances does not have a fixed boiling point. And melting point is the temperature of a solid changing to liquid. Is the temperature of a solid changing to liquid. That is um, the temperature for example, let us take our eyes, for example, changing to our pure water, that is our liquid, right? So, you know, water will melt at zero degrees Celsius. So, water will melt at zero degrees Celsius. So, at zero degrees Celsius, water will convert from solid to liquid. I said boiling point is the temperature that a substance will change from liquid to gas, while melting point is the temperature that a solid will turn to liquid. All right, so what are elements? Element is a substance that cannot be splitted into simpler form in the, uh, using ordinary chemical process. I said elements, is a substance that cannot 
be split into smaller units or into simpler units by ordinary chemical means or by ordinary chemical process so by chemical method we cannot separate elements all right so element is an example of elements we have your hydrogen uh, chlorine nitrogen gold silver lead etc these are elements all right so any substance that cannot be split into simpler units by ordinary chemical means is known as elements all right so let's move to the next one compound 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 is uh, a substance that is composed of two or more elements that is chemically combined i said compound contains two or more elements and it is chemically combined can you say that it is um, they can be split by chemical process elements cannot be split by chemical process while compound can be split by chemical process all right an example of a compound you have your water this is a compound the um, compound like soft, uh, sulfuric acid this is a compound co2 these are compounds all right so this is compound because they contain two or more elements and they can be split by chemical process all right so the last one here is mixture 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 contain two or more constituents but can be separated by physical means mixture contains two or more constituents now the constituents can either be elements or compound but they can be separated they can be separated by physical means right an example you have um, your air sand blood these are examples of mixture because they can be separated by physical means all right so moving on let us talk about physical change and chemical change physical change and chemical change so what is physical change and what is chemical change physical change and chemical change now physical change is a change that occurs that after the change um no new substance is formed for physical change no new substance is formed after the change so no new substance is formed while for chemical change a new substance is formed for example let's take um for example let us take water turning from ice to liquid so no new substance is formed it's still water but for chemical change a new substance will be formed for example let us talk about a burning of burning of wood so from this wood it will turn towards it turn to ash so uh physical change no new substance is formed but chemical change new substance is formed and this one is reversible it is reverse physical change is reversible while chemical change most times are irreversible most times are irreversible and this occurs due uh, due to uh, physical method physical method while most times this one occurs due to chemical method so that is about physical and chemical change all right so don't forget i said pure substances are substances that have just one particle in them why impure substance have two or more particles in them and i said boiling point is the temperature in which 
um, liquid will change to gas. And um, melting point is a temperature in which a uh, solid will turn to liquid. And I said element is a substance that cannot be split into simpler units by ordinary chemical process, while compound is a substance that can be split into simpler units. Uh, they can be split into simpler by ordinary chemical process. It just contains two or more elements. Why mixture? Mixtures are they contain two or more constraints and they can be separated by physical means. And I said, and I explained physical change and chemical change. I said physical change, no new substance is formed. Why chemical change? New substance is formed. So if you have your question, you drop it in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.